<laughs> Holy Tito. <laughs> <Tito. laughs> These oh kids God. are trying to take me out here. Do, 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 Cassidy Quinn. Hi, I'm Cassidy Quinn. And this is Summit. Say hi, Summit. Oh, or, or give me nice kisses. Mm, thank you so much. <laughs> you make me happy, sir. Yes, you do. Mm, thank you. Okay, I got work to do. Anyway, hi, I'm Cassidy Quinn, and I am sad. Even though my shirt today literally says happy on it. Don't judge a human by their clothing. You know everyone can only see your butt, right? But really, I am going through a sad time in my life, and so I am making myself do things that will maybe possibly bring me joy, and maybe by sharing them with you, they will bring you a moment of joy too. I know by the time you are seeing this video, it is almost the middle of November, but this time we are talking Halloween. <laughs> Halloween has always been one of my favorite holidays, and when I think about it, I think about my mom. When I was really little, she would actually make our Halloween costumes. Like, she would sew them. Then when I got a little bit older, she would help me sew some of my own costumes. And I'm pretty sure every year that I've dressed up for Halloween, I've consulted my mom in one way or another because she was just the most creative human that could just come up with something. If you were like, I wanna dress up as this, or hey, I have this wig, this shirt, and these shoes, what should I be? Like, mom could come up with something. <laughs> So this year, when people started talking about Halloween coming up, I, part of my brain just ignored it. I was like, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna come up with a costume. I do not have the energy or the desire. But then the other part of me was like, wait a minute, you love Halloween. Your mom loves Halloween. How do we make this holiday enjoyable and fun this year? Like what would actually be good? For me. So I decided to drive to Boise, Idaho, where two of my cousins live, my aunt and uncle live, and they have a lot of cute kids around. And if I could name two things off the top of my head guaranteed to put a smile on my face and some healing, warm, fuzzy love in my heart, it's babies and dogs. Yeah, I'm talking about you. I love you and you put a smile on my face so, so much all the time. Now, for better or for worse, these children of my cousins, which I basically think of as my nieces and nephews, they're growing up. And so with that comes um, chaos. <laughs> oh, are you being Braxton for Halloween? No! Oh, it's a fox. Oh no, it's the Grim Reaper. <sighs> like literally, I saw him. Don't get us. Don't get me. Why are you so scary? Oh, and you have a bloody knife too? You already started your spooky makeup, but this is what your face looks like. Yeah. That is too spooky, that's mean. Rude. Oh yeah, if you recognize that creepy clown there, um, that is in fact Reagan, who is now in fact 11 years old, but you saw her Maybe, if you've been around on this channel that long, eight years ago, th this was that child. Hi, my name is Reagan. My dad calls me too. <laughs> How old are you, Reagan? Uh, three and a half. Yeah, mind blowing, I told you, chaos. Oh, before we get too far into this, I wanna mention for the sake of total honesty and documenting the grieving things that are happening in my brain and my body right now. I was supposed to drive to Boise a day earlier than I did, but I got up that morning and realized that I had had a busy stretch of days and I hadn't actually just taken time to sit, do nothing, AKA like be sad, feel the feelings. I had been unintentionally putting the feelings on hold because I had to do this, had to do this, was seeing this person, doing this thing, driving here, driving there. And I didn't just let the, the, the grief be. And so I woke up that morning that I was supposed to drive to Boise and it hit me. I had zero energy. I was just overwhelmed with the big sad. So I was just honest with myself and my cousins and I texted them and said, hey, I need a day. And so I just sat all day. I went on a walk with this guy and did basically nothing but cry and meditate and maybe did some yoga. I don't know, it was what I needed. Anyway, now let's skip ahead to when I actually made it to Boise 
and it was Halloween. One of the things I will always remember the most about my mom and Halloween is that she would always put together a spooky Halloween themed menu. So obviously, even though we can never live up to the quality and the spookiness of the meals my mom put together, <laughs> we had to do that. Here's our menu for tonight, so spooky pizza. Spooky. Ooh, it looks bloody. Spooky pizza. Spooky cheese? Ooh, that's spooky. So, what's your plan for your spooky pizza, Grim Reaper? He's all supposed to be so much lazy. This one's supposed to be a head. Oh, nice. Braxton, what are you doing? I am trying to make a little healing guy. Oh, it looks like more like a pumpkin. Working on my spooky pizza, except it's smiling. That one and that one are mine. Ooh, those are good. Look at all these creepy faces. Tried to make a spider web pizza. Kind of messy. That looks good. You think? <laughs> scary guess. Look at those eyeballs. Ooh. <laughs> I didn't even mean to do that. <laughs> really? It just came out. <laughs> Spooky a scary guess. <laughs> Look, there's eyeballs on the Ascaragus. <laughs> Scary? Asparagus is good. <laughs> scary guys. Oh! oh. <laughs> I'm a hole. Creepy monster what veggies. Oh, the skeleton. Oh my goodness. I love the Frankenstein. Woo! Little mummies. Hey, I don't know if foxes can eat pizza. You better give that back to me. <laughs> oh, what a cute little nose. Don't like a smoky eye? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, we could do an orange. Yeah. We could do orange. Okay. Yeah. Relax your eyelids, ma'am. Whoa, that's bright. Oh, yeah. Is that my daughter, or is that a supermodel right there? What do you think? <laughs> Woo! What a beautiful fox. And Quinn, you haven't even gotten into your costume yet. I am going as a makeup artist. No, you're not. I'm going as a clown. You ready to trick or treat? Let's go to trick or treating! <laughs> we got the nice clown, I'm the happy clown, the funny clown, and the no, scary you, clown. You said you trick people. Oh yeah, I trick people. Say like, ooh, come hang out with the clowns, and then ooh, get ya. Get ya. I brought four wigs and everybody wore one. This is great. I love it. <laughs> What'd you get? That's really cool. I forget that. You trick or treat when it's still light out. Yeah. <laughs> Which is great because I'm already tired. <laughs> How much candy have Rex? More than enough to fill my tummy for a year. <laughs> the one house I found Tootsie Rolls at, and I'm really happy. It's, it's I got like, a lot of Tootsie Rolls. Because Reagan says Tootsie Rolls are her favorite candy, and you know who loves Tootsie Rolls? Her mom. My mom. Oh, None of them have so. Twix. I work this hair, girl. <laughs> you. We're working our hair. Have you gotten any full-size candy bars yet? Oh yeah, because they were giving the little kids mini bite-size ones, so I got a big toy. I'm really happy about it too, because I like being the oldest now. <laughs> I can't wait, because I'm older than you. I can just take it out of your bag later and eat it, so it's fine. No, you can't. <laughs> you can't. You have to go up to houses with me. I mean, you look like a teenager here. Oh, thank you. So. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> okay, Bridget, why do I have to come with you on this one? It's so spooky. It's spooky. Ah, oh, he's spooky. <laughs> Good job, Bree. Thank you so much. Ah, it's spooky. You gave Bridgie like the heart eyes. Oh. He literally ever, looked there like. Ever, ever. <laughs> Bridget Reagan says that boy had a crush on you. He was checking you out. You know what he was thinking? Oh God, she's, she's foxy. Hot. She's foxy, get oh, it? it. <laughs> See, I told you I'm the funny clown. Well, a little. Woo! Ah! <laughs> ah! Oh, Clown down! <laughs> Holy sweet <Tito. laughs> These kids are trying to take me out here. Oh good, there you are. I couldn't see you. It's like it's like choking me. Like it's really stinky. Oh no! Whoa! 
I'm not. That's too scary. It's way scary. I'll go with you. Do you want to go? Did he go by himself? No. No, he's not even going. You guys made it out? We did. Alive? Safely, but barely. I'm crying. Here you go. Woo, good job. Last time we went to one of these, I cried. Really? But I think we finally finished trick or treating. We did it. How was your Halloween, Mama? My Halloween was awesome. How was yours? It was awesome because you got to spend it with Just that? Excuse me. Wow. You need to fix your weave. <laughs> <laughs> Mine looks great. <laughs> what? <laughs> I have school tomorrow, so I need to take these off. Yeah, it's going to be really creepy if you show up with neck slices. Oh my gosh, I'd have to get sent home. <laughs> I'd get in so much trouble. But maybe that's what you want. Mom, hey, sorry, hey. gotta be home. Oh. <laughs> sorry, Mom. They <laughs> sent me home because so I was bloody. So, that was Halloween in Boise. And it was really wonderful. Like, genuinely good for my soul. I got lots of kid hugs and cuddles and cousin chats. And it was just... It was really great. Again, for the sake of being probably overly honest about this whole grief thing, at the end of Halloween, after so much fun and so many highs, I got back to my room at my cousin's house that night and I just cried a lot. It just, I needed to let it out. Right now, if something is really fun and I'm on a big high, it has to rebound. It has to go the exact opposite direction at the end of the day. It, it all balances itself out. And so I just felt sad, overwhelmed with emotions. I missed my mom. I couldn't believe that I was doing a Halloween thing, having a spooky meal without my mom. But I just let myself journal it out. I wrote all my feelings. And was everything good? No, but the emotions were out. <laughs> so I hope you have done something that brought you at least a little bit of joy this week. At least one thing. Like hopefully we all do more than one thing, but I'm just documenting them one at a time. If you made it this far in the video, let me know in the comments below what things I should do or try to bring myself a little moment of joy and happiness. <laughs> and I'll see you next week. In the meantime, I'll just be here cuddling with my dog. Hi. <laughs> Thank you. Boom. <laughs> Sorry, bye. No! <laughs> oh. I made a bestie. You did? With this cute little... Your new little friend kid. Hunter, firefighter. I know, right? He just wanted to trick or treat with you, I not even his is mom. He, is he like two? He looks like two or three. Uh, yeah, three maybe? Yeah. And he... Three and a half, I bet he would say. <laughs> three and a half. <laughs> We're going frog hunting.